looking for the and comet Leonard, but the f uh, first thing that you notice is that it's close to a galaxy called NGC 4631 uh, and 4627. They are they're considered as a double galaxy, and uh, it's called also Veil Galaxy. It's visible just at the center, you can see it easy. The comet has not developed really a big uh, coma, so it's, it's not easy to see it. I, I've not been rec able to recognize it so far. Uh, unless you f do some photography, probably you can see a little coma, but I've not been able. And uh, the size of the coma, I don't think, is more than a few uh, arc minutes, probably one or two arc minutes. So it's quite tiny. And, um, yeah, the size of probably less than the size of Jupiter at the moment. But the galaxy is very big, quite it's impressive. It looks like a faint, fuzzy, little bit elongated, almost like an image of the M81, with less structure visible. And I'm using the Mid LX90 um, Advanced Coma Free with the uh, HDC. AMPHDC 20mm 100 degree eyepiece. As you can see, the moon is very small, so I don't expect it to be a very but it's surprising. You can see the NGC uh, 4621. Hallelujah! I found it. I found it. it's quite big actually. Uh, it was a little bit toward the south of the south uh, west east of it. Uh, so if there's a ca ga uh, whale galaxy, it's quite large. I can see some colors. It looks like greenish. It has a relatively big fuzzy uh, uh, coma. The core is brighter. The nucleus and I can see a faint tail a very faint tail like the faint tail of the uh, comet new wise uh, amazing it's quite big it is very much brighter than the uh, NGC 4631 uh, whale galaxy whale galaxy around magnitude 9.2 it must be magnitude 7 or 6 even this is magnitude 7 or six and a half the Comet Lonart. It's quite large. Oh, I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> it is quite large with the tail. I can easily see the tail. It's a smaller version of the Comet Newwise. And the head also is very interesting, the nucleus and the um, coma. Uh, okay, the field of view is the uh, APM 21 to 100 degree. On the uh, mid uh, um, LX 98 inch, so that's the F number. I will just tell you later when I'm inside, and the field of view of this also will be clear. So it covers around two thirds of the field of view. That's amazing. It's quite large. A lot of satellites also pass nearby. I mean, in the sky we see it, not in the near it anyway. Uh, so many liter <laughs> space junk. Okay, today is the 25th, Thursday, 25th of November. And this was the only chance I had because after that it will get cloudy, the weather in the UK. And uh, this is the chance that you see it. And I'm really happy that I waked up. It is. Uh, I waked up around 3 o'clock, it was <laughs> cloudy, half cloudy, so I just waited another uh, one hour, then it became clear, and now it's absolutely clear, I can see everything now, it's beautiful, and uh, next time we will see it probably will be in December, <laughs> if the weather keeps like that, that by then that will be magnitude 4 even brighter, because there will be back a scatter, the light of the sun, um, illuminating the ionic tail of this and we can see actually ion tail of it uh, brighter than it what should actually be and yeah the light reflection beside that just tail all on its own also uh, 
uh, glowing. We will see a little bit brighter. Who knows? Maybe magnitude one even. But by then it will be closer. Now look at the moment. It is around. This is horizon, and this is above here. So around, you can say 40 degrees above the horizon. And uh, but it may go a little bit down lower, but it will be easier visible. Using the pan panoptic, no, sorry, Panaview 38 uh, millimeters, 70 degrees eyepiece. Uh, with the APM, it was very clear, and I can see it also here, so it confirms. There is a bigger area than the coma around it, like a bow shark or something. And then there is uh, the main tail is this way, of course, this is in reverse in the Schmidt Cassegrain. And there is another tail that way also. What is it real or something I'm imagining? Any other observer can confirm or you know refute this what I'm saying. Uh, the main tail is there, but there is another. Uh, the, uh, there is a bigger halo than the coma, which is at the center, and then there is a little tail here this way also, very faint. And if you look carefully, there is another tail this way. I don't know. This is what I'm seeing. It can be, can be a scatter, light scatter in this. It's not light scatter. I know what is light scatter. It's just, it's there. I can see it. Uh, the main reason that I chose tonight, of course, beside the weather and everything else, was that the coordinates of the Comet Lonard was very close to the coordinates of the NGC 4631 Whale Nebula, Whale Galaxy. And by finding the Whale Galaxy, I could just go around it and just find that. And I did it, and I found it now this way. It's just slightly to the south uh, east of the uh, Whale Galaxy, so it was easy. Um, otherwise, I had to find the coordinates of the comet at that moment and give it to the um, handset of this uh, go to telescope and just try to find it hopefully this was easy this it, I had a reference point very easy and the comet is moving actually uh, there was a star slightly to the left of it and that star is now a little higher and the comet has gone a little bit lower that means the comet is moved, the star is not. We cannot in our lifetime see the movement of a star that easy. <laughs> uh, so, that comet has moved. Um, how long I'm watching this? Uh, probably around 20 minutes to half an hour, if I've not lost track of time. 